The angle of elevation of the top of a building from point A on the ground is 24.2 degrees. From point B, which is 44.5 feet closer, the angle of elevation is 38.1 degrees. What is the height of the building? Well, I can assure you that when I read this, I was overwhelmed. It's got point A, it's got an angle of elevation, it's got a point B, which is closer, and it's also got an angle of elevation. And then I've got to go find the height. What in the world am I going to do? Well, I'm going to first draw a picture. I've learned really quickly that with trig, the best thing that you can do is draw a picture to at least try to get some simulation in your mind of what is actually going on. So I've got this point A. And it says that there's this building somewhere over here that I'm looking at. And I'm going to call that, I don't know, how about C? Because it gave me an A and a B already. And it says that I've got the ground happening here. And it says that angle in there is what? It's 24.2. So I've got 24.2. And then all of a sudden it says, oh, but hey, now I've got this other point. And it is 44.5 feet closer. So this is 45.5 feet. And now its angle of elevation up to that same point, because it's the same building, well, now that's 38.1. So this angle right here is 38.1. And they all converge to the same place, so they're going to have to come down here. I kind of missed it by a little bit. And this is going to be, not B, because we've already used B, this is going to be a right triangle. How about we just say that? So I've got a picture. Now, I notice what that looks like to me is that looks like two triangles, right? So let's look at triangle ABC. So that's this little one in here, let me label this point, this is B. So let's look at triangle A, B, C. Well, I can find all of my angles, right? I know that angle A is 24.2, so angle B of that triangle would be what? Well, it would be 180 minus 38.1, which is going to be 141. 9. So I've got that. And remember, I got that because I took, this is a straight line for where you said the ground is, and I already know that the right side of that angle is 38.1. If I subtract that from 180, I find the other side of that angle. So I've got B, and then I can find C for that little triangle. And what's that going to be? Well, I'm going to take 180 for the whole triangle, subtract 141.9 minus 24.2, and I'm going to get 13.9. Okay, so how is that going to help me? Well, I need to get some more angles, right? So I'm going to go ahead and draw another little picture so I can kind of maybe see more of an idea of what's going on. So I've got the triangle there, so that's going to be A, B, and C. And then over here, I've got this one coming down. Let's call this D because I need some more letters. And now I need to find this side right here, which is going to be A. And how am I going to find that? Well, I'm going to use the law of sines because if you recall, we know this distance right here, which is 44.5. So what does the law of sines tell me? Well, it tells me that A over the sine of 24.2 equals, then I have this length of 44.5 divided by the sine. And what did we say that the measurement of angle C is, well, we said that it was 13.9. So when I solve for A, I'm going to get 44.5 sine 24.2 divided by the sine of 13.9. And then my calculator is so awesome that it's going to tell me it is 75.9. Okay, so I've got some information happening here, right? Now, we said A is this long side here, the hypotenuse. But it's not really a hypotenuse, right, because that's not a right triangle. Well, now that I've got that, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to draw another picture so that we're more on the same page. It's not a very good right triangle, but life goes on. So I've got 75.9. I've got 38.1. Now, remember, the goal of this is what? That we are looking for the height of this building. So I've got my A here 
and then I've got this height. Well, now that I know A and I have an angle, I can solve for the side that I'm looking for. I called it question mark because I didn't want to throw any more letters out there, but if you need a letter, feel free to stick a letter there. And so how am I going to do this? Well, based on my rules that I have for sine, cosine, and all that jazzy stuff we've already done, you're going to get 75.9 sine of 38.1. And when I enter that into my calculator, it friendly spits out 46.8 feet. So my building is approximately 46.8 feet tall.